Hello, my daughter. Today, my nono and tay is special. Parang matutu po tayo mag solar system. Kaya po tayo dito kasi birthday ni Nat Nat. Manood po kayo ha. Thank you guys. Tapusin nyo po yung video. But the truth was different. Earth is actually orbiting around the sun with other planets. We call this group of planets orbiting around the sun a solar system. About 400 years ago, I was known as a great scientist. I did a lot of researching and found out lots about our solar system, all using this. Yes, a telescope. These days, anyone can look into space with a telescope. But who do you think was the first to do it? That's right, me, Galileo Galilei. I also found plenty of evidence that the Earth orbits around the Sun. Because of that, we can now draw what our solar system looks like. Speaking of which, what does our solar system really look like? Let's take a close look. There are eight planets, including the Earth, in the solar system. From the closest to the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. <laughs> Further away, <laughs> Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are orbiting. Back in my days, we didn't know much about Uranus and Neptune. What? How come the planets aren't moving? Not to worry, they are moving. For Earth, it takes 365 days to go all the way around the sun, you know? Of course, we don't want to wait that long, do we? Let me just fast forward time. Well, how's this? Can you see how each planet is moving at a different speed? The four planets closer to the Sun take a shorter time to go around it. Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun, only takes three months to go around. On the other hand, those four planets which are further out from the Sun take much longer. <laughs> The most remote planet, Neptune, takes more than 160 years. Hence, the further a planet is from the Sun, the more time it takes to orbit. We may call and group them as planets, but there are differences. Let's compare their sizes, shall we? Firstly, the four planets which are closest to the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. These planets 
have hard, rocky surfaces and are the smaller ones in the solar system. But some of the distant planets, like the gas-covered Jupiter and Saturn, are really big. Even further out, Uranus and Neptune are also covered in gas, but they're a little smaller. When you compare them like this, you can see how they are different in size. But the sun is way bigger. Hmm, it's so big, it doesn't fit in the screen. The sun is 109 times bigger than the earth in diameter and 1,000 times heavier than the total weight of all eight planets put together. The sun is just that big and heavy. Now, let's get a close look at the sun and the planets and see what makes them different. We will begin with the center of the solar system, the sun. The sun is the only star here that creates light and heat using its own energy. Planets like the Earth and its moon shine because the sun's light shines on them. This is the surface of the sun. The temperature is about 6,000 degrees Celsius. Big bursts of gas called prominents shoot out. Sometimes they shoot out 20 times bigger than the diameter of the Earth. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. It doesn't have much air, so it gets to more than 400 degrees Celsius during the day and below minus 160 degrees Celsius at night. Mercury's surface is covered with craters, so it looks sort of like the moon. Venus is a planet orbiting just inside the Earth's orbit. It has hard ground, but you wouldn't want to stand on it. Because of the greenhouse effect caused by carbon dioxide, the temperature of Venus is higher than that of Mercury, over 460 degrees Celsius. Also, its air is so thick and heavy that it would squish us humans. Even metal would melt in its clouds of sulfuric acid. The environment on Venus makes it tough for any creatures to live. Mars is a planet orbiting just outside the Earth's orbit, and the temperature there is about the same as it is on Antarctica. The air there is mostly carbon dioxide, but it's thinner than the air on Earth. It also has frozen water, so it's not as harsh an environment as that of Mercury and Venus. That's why people think humans will go to Mars next to the moon. See the gap between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter? Around here, we have something that we call an asteroid belt. Asteroids are lumps of rock and metal, much smaller than planets, that float around the solar system. Many think they are clues to the unknown history of the ancient solar system. Most of the asteroids in our solar system can be found in the asteroid belt. So, what about the planets beyond the asteroid belt? How are they different from the first four planets? 
Let's take a look at them now. Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system. It is mainly made of gas, and it does not have hard ground. But surprisingly so, it is massive. Jupiter spins around once in only 10 hours. Earth is much smaller, but it takes 24 hours to rotate. The stripes on Jupiter are made by this fast rotation and the movement of clouds. Another characteristic of Jupiter is that red eye giant spot. A long time ago, I used a telescope and discovered it has moons. Io, Europa, Ganymede, Callisto. Together, they're called the Galilean moons. This is the sketch I drew then. See if you can find a Galilean moon when you ever get to see Jupiter through a telescope. Like Jupiter, Saturn is also made of gas. The ring around the planet is famous now but I was the first one to find it. Too bad I didn't realize it went all the way around the planet. Now we know the rings are made of rocks and bits of ice. Their temperatures are low and are thought to be made of ice mixed with ammonia and methane. Further out from Neptune, you can find Pluto and other objects smaller than planets in the Kuiper Belt objects. When comets get close to the sun, they start showing off their What's awesome that? tails. Some comets are said to come from there. But other comets come from even further out. Hundreds of times further than Neptune is from the sun. That's where you'll find the Oort cloud, which may be far, but it's still part of the solar system. The solar system extends for a great big distance, but we've only ever confirmed life to exist on Earth. Our blue planet Earth is truly an oasis for life. It will be up to you, who was born on this oasis, to unravel the mysteries of the solar system. I'm expecting you to discover something bigger than I ever did.